Now into stock we have quite an unusual car, it's a Mini Clubman 1.6 Cooper. Um, it's a five door which is an unusual configuration of the doors as it's got two doors at the back and three at the front. Uh, so two on one side, one on the other. I'm assuming it's to help, perhaps it's only a little door. I'm assuming it's to help load a child seat or make it easier to load a child seat. I, I can't see any other reason for it. Um, done over 51,000, just over 51,000. I think I'll, I'll tell you exactly when we get in. Fuel economy, urban 39.8, extra urban 62.8. Combined is 51.4 and a 0 to 60 time of 9.8 seconds. Top speed of 125 miles per hour out of 120 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. Um, quite a, a quirky little car, very, very popular minis. I'll just show you around it. As I say, it's got uh, it's one owner from new and it's got 3,840 pounds worth of extras, which I'll list in the description, but I'll try and remember to tell you when we get in the car. So one of those things I think is the chrome pack, which is the chrome grille and the headlight and uh, fog light surrounds. The five spoke alloy wheels. It's got a contrasting black roof and door mirrors, plastic wheel arch protectors and also sill protectors there, chrome door handles, chrome window surrounds, privacy glass. Electronic handles on the doors there and uh, Twin doors, back seats fold down 50 50. Got privacy glass, a wiper on each side. Just shut those doors, I don't want anybody taking them off going past. So this little door makes it easier to get in the back, probably a, a lot easier than a two door. Um, so I, I, I can understand it's, it's designed from that point of view and also leaning into the back to um, put a child seat in. There's uh, Isofix child seat anchor points in the back here, so it'd be ideal for that. Ideal for a, a small family car or a second car. Three inertia reel seat belts as well. One comes out of the roof there. So seats are nice and comfortable, and it's the, the black perforated leather. Yeah, quite a nice environment. Not claustrophobic really, you've got plenty of good visibility. And uh, I'll, I'll just take you for a ride in it. Quite safe in the back there too, of course. If you've got any kids in the back, they can't open the door because you've got to open the driver's one first so you can't chuck your little sister out. I'll just take you for a ride in it. Oops. Those are the keys, circular shape, slot in the little locator on the dash there and uh, a start button. We've got uh, service history here. That noise was just logging onto my phone. So here we go. 5th and 9th, 2011, 9458. Mini Center, Williams. That's a BMW uh, Mini Agent. And again here, 26th and 9th, 2013, 22,444. Williams Manchester Mini. 4th of 11, 2015, 32453, 483, sorry that, total auto services, and then, I know what you're thinking, <laughs> we've just done it, we've not stamped the book, but it was only done yesterday, and I'm taking the book round to be stamped today, so uh, my bad. 51,934, 28th of the 2nd, 2019, at Northwest Auto Care. I'll put that away, and uh, I'll just tell you, I'll just list the extras because I think they're worth going through. Chili pack, 1,980. Leather punch, 535. 16 inch five star blaster light alloy wheels, 525 pounds. Sports front seats, 210 pounds. Multifunction steering wheel, 175 pounds. Interior trim, piano black. So that's the, the gloss black 
stuff around here. Um, chrome line interior, again, chrome. Gosh, that looks like a lot of money for uh, chrome line interior, 110 pounds, wow. Uh, color line, cream white. So I assume that's the contrasting bits on the, the door here. I could be wrong, but uh, it's not gonna make a whole lot of difference, is it? Chrome line exterior, we went through that before. And that the chrome line exterior is cheaper than the chrome line interior, which seems very, very strange considering there's a, a lot more outside. And so I assume little bits on the handbrake and gear stick and around the cup holders, uh, dials, where else? Door handles, wow. Um, leather punch carbon black. All right, those are zero cost options because it's already uh, paid for. And the car is pepper white gloss. Roof and mirror caps in black. So 3,840 pounds. I'll uh, take you for a ride in it now. Oh, just ready to set off all cars are coming. great thing about minis is the handling. You just go around this roundabout <laughs> and in the brochure it does say they like go-karts and although I'm not going fast, look at that, holes, holes are lying around the roundabout like I don't know what. They, they are fun to drive but um, I don't know why, I, th I think it's uh, ever since I watched the Italian job when I was a kid, whenever I get in a mini I always want to speed and uh, cut through places that I probably shouldn't do. We'll just check the door mirrors. There you go, both door mirrors work. I won't put the windows down. I have checked them. They do work, but I've just got, no, I will, I will put them down. Just have to try and stop them quickly before they. Yeah, so both the, the windows work. Nice big display to read there. It's got Bluetooth hands free. driving what I should do is go straight up the middle <laughs> and keep up the tradition nice gearbox smooth change and uh, light clutch Got cruise control here on the steering wheel, so when we get on the motorway, I'll test that. The radio and your audio switches here, menu, is your phone, computer, configuration, your climate control switches here, aircon, just there. It's different to look at than the normal mini. There's your normal mini there. This is kind of the estate version. The old Clubman used to be exactly the same. Two doors on the back. And they were great little sellers <laughs> back in my day. Um, they uh, they really were good selling cars. Uh, they were only two doors at the front and uh, two doors at the back. Not this one on the side. Well, there you can see a an ordinary shaped mini. Let's knock this. Uh, Stop start off, don't want any of that. There's 
so I always get carried away in these. We've got the piano gloss black insets to the dash and this kind of circular thing or elliptical uh, fitting on the door here. The, the kind of cream leather contrasting insets. The car is finished in whatever it was called but in my day it used to be MG white or old English white and uh, I remember spraying my racing bike in this colour when I was a kid. Nice leather seats, it's just as it's come in, it's uh, belonged to a lady owner I'm thinking and uh, usually there's, there's different types of lady owners. There's the types of lady owners that wear a hole in the carpet and then I think there's comfortable driving lady owners who don't wear stilettos <laughs> when they're uh, out in the car and this has belonged to the latter so the carpet's all nice it's got uh, carpet over mats got the plastic wheel arch protectors and also along the sills nice and handy the back seats fold down and uh, twin doors at the back two wipers one on each side let's see what the wipers are like on the front here Yep, well it's just been MOT'd so they should be alright. MOT'd in service yesterday, so it doesn't need doing again till uh, February next year, 2020. Proper handbrake, not an electric one. Convertible just gone by there. Goodness me, up the inside lane and then across all the traffic. Doing about 60. I think this car must be invisible. They don't do that when you're driving a Range Rover. They don't pull, in, pull out in front of you like that. Right, so let's see. Switch on. Set. There we go. There's the on-off switch. The set buttons. We just need to be going a little bit faster. Let's just take it up a little bit, see if we can get to 70, my new brains of dynamite, I was only in fifth there, and we'll go past this guy, in six, doing 69 miles an hour, let's click it up one more, 70 miles an hour, about 2,800 revs. And there's one of those minis that look like a, a baseball cap. Pretty nice and quiet. No vibrations anywhere. No wheel wobbles, that's all good.
good driving position, seats built up and there's also kind of, I don't know what that's meant to do, keep your legs apart I suppose. Voice activation there and your telephone controls. There's a little section of the motorway, the off-ramp, which is, uh, I particularly like going around in minis. We'll, we'll just try it without speeding, of course. But it's handy, you've just got a, that bit more room at the back. So if you do have a couple of kids, uh, minis, normal minis, not that much room in the back, between the back seats and the tailgate. And this is just just a bit more. I've, I've got quite a lot of camera equipment in there. It's not something you see every day. Just showing there, the cruise control is switched on. If I just knock it off there, there it goes. It's off again, so good display, your radio controls and read out there, rev counter here, outside temperature, gauge, time, how far you can go till you need to refuel, this is this is a bit that uh, is, you know, I knew we've, we've got a flipping uh, ambulance and a uh, some Wallowy Citroen in front because uh, this is really nice. In these minis, as I say, they're like go-karts and you can go around and, and really hug the kerb. And uh, Thanks Lurry's Ambulance and uh, Slow Citroen Driver for spoiling my demonstration. Never mind, there's a bit better road up there. Fifty miles an hour. It now looks like there's an old van going the same way as we are for the next nice windy bit of driver's road. for me to drive around in a mini all day. I'd lose my license in no time. There we go. It's just lovely, proper driver's car. Katie Price. Very bumpy road, I have to say. And of course, the Mini's got quite a small wheelbase, so 
footprint of that's still not too bad. Nice car. Again, just as it's come in, Lance, uh, Lazen, Lance hasn't been near it yet, and uh, we'll make it like new. Uh, just, it's certainly not grimy or anything. Just needs a light clean, but. Uh, look a million dollars when he's finished it. When we get back I'll show you how to delete a mobile from the system. Pair of mobile too. It's uh, quite a good, simple system. Cup holders here, two cup holders, and then you've got your uh, stop start button there. Heater control on the right, fan on the left. Electric windows, fog lamps, and uh, global locking switch there. Actually, I never checked. Oh, yeah. It's got um, probably height and reach adjustable steering wheel as well. Just uh, when we stop, I'll, uh, I'll just check whether it's both or just one. Okay, a couple of cars come in here, so yeah, height and reach. And also the rev counter moves with the steering wheel and the steering column. So it's always in the right position and not obscured by the top of the steering wheel. Oh, a 19 plate. Just picked it up. must mean it's the first today. I uh, thinking back to all, all the years I spent selling new cars as well. For, actually from that place that's where I started. Um, that was Fort Motors back in the day, we were an Opal dealer and uh, you used to get people wanting to pick their car up at a minute past 12 on August the 1st, the new registration. And then the other thing was, I, I remember once I had um, 45 cars going out on August the 1st, 45 new vo uh, Volkswagens and I arranged them throughout the day 
rang everybody to make sure they had an appointment time and did kind of half an hour slots or whatever, quarter of an hour slots. And uh, <laughs> about, about 20 people turned up at nine o'clock in the morning, ignored all the slots. Honestly, by, by the end of the day, there was part exchanges everywhere. And another day at Fort Motors there, um, it was about a week after we'd taken a part X in and the customer couldn't get on the forecourt. So he'd parked his car around the corner near the fish and chip shop. And uh, I'd given us the keys. And of course, nobody realized. And it was about a week later, um, I was going for fish and chips and I, I saw this car and I'd, I'd been going past it and seen it. I thought, that registration looks familiar. And uh, it, was, it was one of our part exchanges that we didn't even know <laughs> we hadn't got in the compound so you I, I really I, there'll, there'll be some salesmen today tearing the hair out and uh, when, when I was at Mercedes-Benz when sat navs had first come out and really complicated all sorts of extras you know you, you get in an S-Class and your handover could take a, an hour probably two hours sometimes and you get right to the end and you say right Mr Customer I, are you, are you happy with all the controls? Do you understand all the controls? Are, are you okay? And they'd go, <laughs> no. <laughs> and then you'd have to start all over again, which is how I got into videoing things. Because what I used to do then, I used to make a, a it was actually a, probably a CD, a, a, a video CD. Um, and if they said no, I wasn't happy, I'd say, well, here's a CD, watch it at home. <laughs> And that was it. Anyway, right.